Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me Sonia from Inner Order and Joy. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can present multiplication board to your child. So the main purpose of this lesson is to uh, help your child understand the multiplication concept in a very concrete way. And also we are going to show your child how to record their answers. In this multiplication board, the concept becomes so easy because through repetition, children will understand this multiplication concept in a better way. So let's get started. Alright guys, so for this activity, we have this traditional Montessori multiplication board. This comes with 9 number cards. It has all the 10 number cards. 10 number cards and it has beads and one counter and I have this multiplication table summary card which I'll explain it later and this is the multiplication table card so in this video we are going to do the multiplication table 5 so we take the number card 5 so this this is we have until 10 so I am going to take multiplication number card 5 I am going to take this 5 you have to slide it into the groove on the on this side of the multiplication board and you have this counter the red counter goes here now when we are doing this is this is the multiplicand and this is the multiplier okay on the top of the board so we are going to the, do the table 5 so 5 times 1 you can say 5 times 1 or you can say 5 taken one time so 5 times 1 so you have to take 5 beads 1 2 3 4 5 you have to take five beads and place them vertically down uh, under number one because we are doing five times one is five so you have to show your child how to record the number five the answer you have to show the show your child how to record the answer this is one two three four five so you have to write five you see this five and then and then five times two then you have to move this this counter on two the number two now we take five one two three four five beads now again we have to do five times two so you have to put all these beads under the number two because because we are taking five two times now this is five times two is you have to ask your child to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now record your answer this is ten five times two is ten then now five times three so move this multiplier the red counter on the number 3 and then you have to take 5 more beads 2 3 4 5 so again you have to place all these beads under number 3 1 2 3 4 5 now count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 15 5 times 3 is 15 and you know what if your child knows how to count by fives uh, my son knows how to count by fives so after once they understand the pattern once they know the pattern they observe the pattern then you can say 5 10 15 and then 5 times 4 Now they will understand why is 5 times 4 20. This is a very concrete way 
where they will understand this concept in a better way through repetition. So 5 times 4 is 20. So now we are... Alright guys, in a classroom setting, in a Montessori classroom setting, we have these multiplication table summary cards where uh, this will help your child because it is also written with answers. This is a summary card. Once your child is done with the table 5, with the multiplication table, then you can give this, then you can give this summary card so that they can cross check their answers so that they can cross check their answers and if there is any mistake then they will go ahead and do that problem try to solve that problem again and try to get the right answer so this is called the control of error in Montessori education this is a very interesting process the control of error will help the child uh, to see visually where the mistake is made and try to correct it independently this will uh, allow the child to see where the mistake is made and they are going to correct their mistake all by themselves without the teacher's help. It, isn't it amazing that they are going to correct their own mistake? It's a very great hands-on learning process for a child. Alright guys, let's get back to the next number. So now we are going to repeat this process until 10. Alright, this is how you do 5 times 10 equal to 50. Now once your child is done writing all this, recording all the answers, you can give the summary card, table summary card so that they can cross check. Okay, they will check. Okay, 5 is correct, 10 is correct, 15, 20, all the answers are correct. If they find something is wrong, suppose say 5 times 4 is 20. Then they will go ahead, put the multiplier, uh, the counter here and try to do it until 4 and try to count again and then they will get the correct answer. This is how the control of error, this control of error card will help them to correct their own mistake all by themselves independently. This 5 times 10, 5 times 10 equal to 50. This way you can repeat the multiplication table 4 until 10 tables all 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 until 10 all right guys i hope you found this video helpful if so hit that like button and do consider subscribing also please share this video with parents friends and family who may need this thank you so much for watching always stay joyful and stay humble Bye-bye. Take care.